Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to do the July Roundup. <laughs> July was a really slow month for me, crochet wise. But that's because it was a busy month, everything else was. <laughs> so in July I only finished one, two, three, four, five things. <laughs> and I have two um, rollover projects from July going into um, August. <laughs> I forget what month it is. Okay, so I have my, all of my finished objects right here except one of them I couldn't find. <laughs> so the first thing I finished in July was the, it's got hair on it, always, I shed like crazy, <laughs> is the Cardinal Ornament by Sarah Satch. There's a free uh, written tutorial of this and also a free video tutorial of this. I'll link everything that I'm talking about down below. And I used worsted weight scraps and an H hook, which is a five millimeter. So this is it. I still never put an eye on there. And I didn't put a loop on there because I use like little hooky things usually on my Christmas tree. Um, so it's a little cardinal. I did the double one where you make two uh, of the bodies to make it like, you know, poofier. <laughs> you could also stuff it or just do a single side. And uh, so there's my little cardinal. So I made him. And then I, the second thing I made was a pumpkin hat for June for this uh, pumpkin season. <laughs> And it is called Pumpkin Hat by Crochet 365 Knit 2. Um, and it is a free pattern. Did I ever say that? I used a G hook and an H hook. Uh, I think the H hook was for the body of the hat. And the G hook was for the the brim maybe. And then the details. <laughs> so the original pattern uh, was from that one website. But I did alter mine a little bit. So here it is. Uh, the original pattern is the alpine stitch, kind of like the stocking I made, but I just did rows because I like the way it looked better. Uh, that was just personal preference. So this is a Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin, <laughs> Spring Green, and Coffee, the stem up there. And it's so cute, I can't wait to put it on her when it gets full time. And uh, hopefully it'll be cool enough to actually at least take pictures in it because it takes forever for the weather to cool down in Tennessee. But So that was the second thing I finished. The third thing I finished and the fourth thing were two octopus cones, ice cream cones. I found one of them. Jesse had them both. I can't find the one that I made specifically for him. But the first one that I made, uh, it's called ice, pop, well, Octopus Ice Cream by Crafty Kitty Crochet and it's a free pattern. I used an e-hook which is three millimeter. So here's the first one that I made. <laughs> it is Red Heart Super Saver Buff cherry red and this is a scrap of mandala ombre and then the little chocolate chips is uh red heart super saver coffee but i, un I unplied it it's thinner <laughs> um so that's a pretty cute little thing and i did make two of these i made jesse one similar but different i can't remember what colors i used for his i couldn't find it <laughs> but um so i did make two of these but then i only have one and then the last thing that i finished in july was my Country Cottage Stocking, which is a free pattern by the Turtle Trunk. And I used an H hook, which is a five millimeter. And I used Red Heart Super Sarah Cherry Red and Erin. So this, I'm, I made this to enter into my local um, county fair. <laughs> but this is like the Alpine stitch. So this is what this hat was supposed to look like, but I just went with the rows. But it's really cute. The same person has also mittens and a hat that match this stitch. And I think I might make it because I really like it. It's really pretty. And um, I always make myself a new hat and stuff every year even though I have like a million. So I might um, make me a hat with that. But yeah, so I'll be entering this into my county fair hopefully um, in a few weeks. So we'll see We'll see if I win anything with it. But I think it's really pretty. It came out really cute. Uh, it's kind of got like a classic like elegant feel to it. I like it. So that's all the things that I finished in July. I didn't get to do much at all in July because I was just busy with life, you know. So I started my August page, but in July I had five finished objects, which brings my total for the year to 86 finished projects. Some of them were big, some of them were little. So yeah, but my two uh, carryover projects, <laughs> I'm still working on. This is more like in hibernation because I haven't worked on it in a while. My pu trendy puff sleeve sweater. It's a paid for pattern. I'll link it below. I have the whole body of it done. Seamed and everything. I just need to do the sleeves and the collar. And I just kind of lost my ump for it. So it's sitting on my craft cart with the yarn and the hook. <laughs> and just waiting for me to feel like working on it. Uh, 
I don't know, I just, you know, you know, you work on things and you get kind of tired of it. So I'll just put this on the burner until I, um, feel like finishing it. <laughs> Which, I think it's maybe because it's so hot, um, I haven't wanted to make a sweater. But, uh, I'll finish it eventually. And then the other thing that I was rolling over is my Halloween countdown. This is a paid-for pattern as well. And it's by the left-handed crocheter. Oops, I almost threw my hook in the floor. I am about a third of the way done with the base of it and then I gotta make all the little pockets and appliques which I'm hoping will be quicker than the base but it's taking forever <laughs> but I also don't get to work on it much um get all my yarn out of the way so I'm about a third of the way done with the the base like I said this is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst Black and I can't remember what this one is it's a Red Heart but I can't remember what the color is but it's going good I got right now I got three bobbins attached a gray one on either side and then the purple one actually my one gray one is empty so i made another one it's in my bag and then i got a big purple one because <laughs> i gotta do basically just the same row over and over and over again for i think 15 more rows which is really 30 because there's a there's a puff row and then a single crochet row so i still got a lot of that to do and then i'll be doing the roof of the house and um like the sky that's got a moon in it and then the top border and then I can go back and make all the pockets and sew them on <laughs> and then make all the cute little applique decorations and I might add some things here and there depending on what I think but I'm hoping to get this done before October 1st because that's when it starts as <laughs> a countdown so um I've had this pattern in my library forever I've been wanting to make it so I'm finally getting to making it why did that post okay <laughs> I thought that I thought I messed up a post stitch but it was just like pushed in I'm, I'm getting there. I'm working on it slowly. So, that's living in a Halloween bag. Boop. <laughs> I got another project going. I am a groomie, but it's for a national holiday that's coming up in a week or so. And then I also want to start a Stitch Your Library project because I haven't done one in a while. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta dig around in my library. I think I'll go to my uh, Ravelry library because I got a bunch of downloaded patterns on there. I think I might go pull something from there. But yeah, so we're heading into August and I've got um, my two carrier projects and then that other project on there. And then I want to start some other things. So we will see. Hopefully August I'll get more done. <laughs> but I don't really know why July was so light on the crochet. I don't know. Some months, sometimes I get a lot of stuff done. Sometimes I get a little bit. I had another month where I just got a little bit done. So I can't remember what month it was. I think it was, yeah, April. In April I had nine finished objects. And then May I had 14. June I had 8. So it's just like every other month is a, there's a big month and then a little month. <laughs> Even the month that I had June I had a whole lot of finished projects. Here January I had oh, I didn't write it down did I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, add 15 not 20 because I made a bunch of popsicle cozies I had 20 projects in January 19 in February 11 in March 9 in April 14 in May 8 in June and then 5 in July so <laughs> it's just all over the place but anyways I just want to hop on here and fill you guys in on what I did in July <laughs> and what's going into August from July and for other months because <laughs> I've been working on sweaters since I think February but um really it's been just sitting around a lot because I just lost the ump for it but I'll finish it eventually and I'll share it with you guys when I do but I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys later today for a vlogist hopefully if I can remember to vlog <laughs> and uh, I gotta go grocery shopping today so I'm gonna try to go by myself because <laughs> I want to see if Devin will um I'll wait till he gets up this evening and then I'll have him stay home with the kids and then I'll go grocery shopping and pay the electric bill and uh, have a little bit of time just by myself, <laughs> I think. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.